Hello and welcome to the 8th episode of the KB series of my channel. This is where I'll be explaining some basic computer networking terms, the ones that I think are useful to know in order to understand the main videos of this channel better. And in this episode, I'll do the basic configuration for my ASUS wireless router. And by the basic config, I mean I want to make sure the internet is connected and the Wi-Fi is also up and running. And obviously any advanced configuration would be beyond the scope of the KB series and will be covered in other videos. Now on this computer which is already connected to the router, I'm gonna open a browser and it should automatically take me to this page. If it doesn't, then I'll enter this or the IP address of the router, which in my case happened to be this. Even though I can use this to create my network, I'm going to use the advanced settings which is going to give me more options to choose from. Here I can choose the operation mode of the router. And if I had previously saved the settings of the router, I can now upload it here so I won't have to reconfigure. These are the operation modes and I'm going to select the wireless router mode which is the default mode. Now it is asking me the WAN connection type. This particular router has a multi-gig Ethernet port, which could be configured either as LAN or WAN. But I don't need that much of speed for my WAN, so I'm gonna select this one. Depending on the type of my internet connection, it might require a username and a password. This is something that I should check with my ISP, but usually the DSL internet is the one that needs it. My internet is through cable and doesn't need it. Again, this is something that I should check with the ISP. Do I have an automatic IP or a static IP? Usually for home internet it's automatic and so is mine. Here is the wireless settings and I should select a network name or SSID for my Wi-Fi plus a strong password. By default it will use the same name and password for both frequencies but I can if I want separate them and use different names and passwords. Here it's asking me if I want to enable the Wi-Fi 6 or not, because some wireless adapters might have connectivity issues with Wi-Fi 6, and to fix that I need to make sure they're using the latest driver. Next I'm gonna choose a router login name and a password, so every time I need to log into the web interface of the router I should use this information. And finally, it will check to see if there is a newer firmware available. In my case, it is, so I'm going to install it. The basic configuration is finished. I can now test the internet connection for the wired and the wireless networks. Thank you very much for watching this KB video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe if you like to see more. Thank you again and I will see you soon.